Uh, it's time to understand what makes a cult film. I'll tell you one that's not. Fight Club. People always come out and say, oh, Fight Club's a cult movie. Not we'll hold it up against this, but everybody likes Fight Club. It's yeah. not a cult movie. <laughs> well, you actually mentioned a very interesting point. Everybody likes X. So, sounds like you're saying that a cult needs to, by proxy, exclude some people. Yeah, I think to be a cult movie, you need to have a, sh a small, passionate fan base. That's what I think of when I think of a cult. Any. Could it be argued that a cult film could be enjoyed by everyone? It's just not been seen by everyone. I think it's just one of those classics, small, passionate fan base. I, I, that, I, that makes I sense to me. But no, but not just small, passionate, but small, passionate, and some people just don't get it. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah. Just just yeah. doesn't click for some people. Yeah, and that means that it clicks even more for the others, exactly. the ones who get because they're like, it's us versus them. The and, other people are and wrong. Scott Pilgrim. I can see why this would fit that description because there are a lot of things where, although we adore it, I could show this film to my granddad. I don't think he'd think much of it. People like, why is there? Why do they jump in the air and fight? And yes. why does the, the Indian character do a dance? Yeah, that's it. There are a lot, and this isn't a comment on my granddad. <laughs> I think there are a lot of people who could watch this film and say, "I just don't get it." Yeah, and at least enough people who could watch this film and go. Holy shit! This is amazing. This is this is absolute genius. Which I think is a key component yeah. of the cult aspect. So it not only needs to have a small, dedicated following, but the fact that other people can't appreciate it just emblazons the love, the cultiness within the following. Yes. Okay. It it needs to be like an actual cult itself. Yeah. Where the outside is wrong, we are right. Yeah. I think let's so. all drink bleach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Right. That is kind of Fight Club -y. Yeah, okay. But fight, fight, no, no, no. Fight, fight Club. Club I tell you what, are people just a little bit confused about cult movie? They they think that it doesn't mean cult as in the people who like the movie. Yeah. But that it's actually about a cult. I think that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair. <laughs> could be where the about. confusion's coming from. So I. I think one of the hallmarks of a cult film has to be poor box office budget performance. Oh, does it have to make a loss? Like if I spent 1.5 million on, on a film and it got 50 million, then would that be okay budget box office wise to count as a, as a cult film? So what do you say? A hundred well, million so versus 50. Scott Pilgrim, we, we, we argue, would be a, a cult film. Made $50 million in the box office. Mm. Right, but it cost eighty five million. So is that a poor box office performance? Yeah. So poor returns can come in a variety of different ways, can't it? Because you get cult films like The Warriors. Yes. Which I haven't looked at the box office numbers for that, but I don't imagine it was like a big budget film that didn't meet expectations, but more. This is just mm. any of a, a million films that have been released. Yeah. And it just happens to be that it's been found. And then people are like, wait a minute. So actually, this is wild. So it could have absolutely nothing to do with budget whatsoever. And it isn't, there is an absolute number that your box office has to be below before you can be a cult film. Because mm. if, you make, if, you make, if you make $500 million at the box office... I don't care what you tell me. You will never be a cult film. Which is why I don't... I'm just looking at the numbers for Fight Club, right? <laughs> made a hundred... <laughs> not a cult All film. Right, it didn't make 500 mil, but it made 100 mil on a 60-odd million budget. But forgetting budget at all, let's say, mm. 100 million dollars at the box million office. Dollar a lot, enough people <laughs> like that movie. Yeah. You can't there's, call that... It's not a fucking cult movie. You're, you're, you're right. It's just because there's a cult in it. <laughs> people are just... Yeah, fair. people are like... Yeah, like, oh, it's a cult movie. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a movie yeah, of cults. Yeah, hardly anyone likes that film. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's, Fight Club. Fight Club is not a cult film. Underappreciated. <laughs> Change the title of this. To Fight Club is not a cult film. Shut up. <laughs> Stop calling Fight Club a cult film. All right. So we've got underappreciated in its time. Low box office. Found... Through now, now the interesting thing is, how does it become a, a film that mm. is considered a cult classic? And well, that like, is obviously where the yes. where there, there's some subjectivity, right? One of the things that I was thinking was number of reviews, say on IMDb, against mm. the actual score. So, like a, a very popular movie might have 
500,000 reviews on IMDb and it might get 7.8 and you go, that's a good film mm. and that's done quite well. If you have a film that has 80,000 reviews and it's got like a an 8.8, mm. that's a yeah. cult film. That. So we're trying to give some sort of objective ranking, some quantitative yeah. data. So we're thinking a film that has low box office when it comes out, regardless of budget. Then we're thinking a film that has a high rating on something like IMDb, but a low number of ratings. Mm. And all, it has to have audiences that, partic- that specifically dislike that film. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's another one then. So people disliking the film and obviously people really cherishing it. Now, the reasoning behind people cherishing it more than maybe they should, maybe getting to the point that it's a bit weird now, might be a conversation like this. I'm going to have a conversation with you and we're going to talk about the first Mad Max film. Right. Oh, I just was watching this movie that came on the TV the other day. It's like this Australian wasteland film about this this cop in leather really weird and 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 zany right it was a bit bit of an odd one i was kind of different to anything i've seen person person two yeah i saw that as well god that was shit wasn't it no it wasn't shit it was weird and interesting defensiveness if you if, if you have a conversation about that suddenly in my mind i'm protecting this thing that i found which was like maybe i didn't when I watched it, maybe I didn't think, I love this film, this is the best film I've ever seen. Yes. Or I'm immediately invested in what this film is trying to achieve. Yes. But I've had a conversation with someone and they have just disagreed with my opinion. Now I'm protecting my opinion and my opinion starts to, my opinion has a fire lit under it. And that exact, to be honest, that conversation as well is more in your head, isn't it? If you yeah. have something which you're like, wait, am I the only person I know who's seen this? Yeah. That means that it holds more value. So I think that pretty much covers a cult film then, doesn't it? Yeah, well, the only other thing in the Scott Pilgrim case to go through is is that came out to disappointing box office returns. It did very well in DVD sales, which is part of the reason which it seemed to drive some sort of... Sure. Some sort of lasting legacy. So that's probably a word of mouth sort of thing then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think the people who did see it, it, it did well critically and, and at the... Um, and with the audience that watched it, they liked yes. it, but just not enough people saw it. Okay. Now, not all cult films come out to fanfare from critics. Yes. Some are very mixed, yes. like Rocky Horror. I, I think even Fight Club was a bit, um, you yeah, know, so so. Donnie Darko, Big Lebowski. So uh, the original Blade Runner, interestingly, was a commercial failure at first, but I don't consider that a cult film. That so is I don't know why that's. I think that. Things word of mouth spreading, people yes. people being defensive about it, yes. Uh, and then there seems to be some sort of next unidentifiable step that goes from no one watched this to more people watch this than we realize. Mm. In the in the age of streaming, I know Scott Pilgrim's been on streaming as well, that'll definitely help it. But then if it gets too many people on it, I mean, at some point, it's if the whole world jumped on board, it's no longer a cult. So at some point, the more people that watch it, the less cult classic it becomes. Yeah. Like if Scott Pilgrim ended up just, just staying on streaming services, it was on Prime, it was on Netflix, it was on all of them for the next three years. And by then, every single person watched it and most people liked it, for example. You just couldn't call it a cult anymore. Well, that's a very interesting question because if something like Blade Runner was a cult classic yes. that became just a classic that would mean that there is well firstly that might not be the case yes. you're going off the fact that we both looked into it you've you found fight club i've had blade runner come up again it just seems so strange to me that i didn't consider that a cult classic but maybe it was at, at one point time. but maybe if anyone is listening who remembers blade runner coming out and remembers how in hindsight it seems to have been more highly regarded let us know if you think this was ever a cult film absolutely yes if you are listening uh, let us know what you think in the comments below Mm. don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one yeah have a good one bye